So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to compute a person's age, uh, given that you, you have a data set that contains <clears throat> uh, date variables. Uh, so this data set is uh, called Employee Master, and it's basically just a, a whole bunch of information on uh, employees, including their employee ID, their gender, how much they make, where they live. Uh, more importantly, for, for this exercise, uh, we have a variable here of, of dates, and this specifically, this is when they were born. And so we want to go ahead and create a new variable that uh, that shows their age. Um, so in this, for this first example, we're going to use um, we want to see how old they are at the beginning of the year. That is zero one January two fifteen. <clears throat> so once again, for this, we're going to use the query builder. So we go to the top up here, click query builder. Okay, so we want to keep all of our variables, so we can drag our whole uh, table over. <clears throat> so we have to actually compute something. So we're going to use the computed columns, and then we go to New, Advanced Expression. <clears throat> this will bring up all of our functions. So we go to our list of functions, and <clears throat> for this we want to use the year diff function. The year diff function returns the difference in years between two dates. So we'll scroll down to the Y's. <clears throat> okay, so here's our year diff function. So we're going to have three things here. We're going to have the first one will be the uh, the beginning date, so the birth date, and then the second uh, value will be uh, the date zero one January two thousand fifteen, and then the last the last thing will be how we want this expressed. For this, we're going to use what's called actual, which gives us the actual value of the uh, the days in between <clears throat> these two dates, so or the years rather. Okay, so first things first, we already have a column set up for our birth date. So we can just go down to our functions, or our uh, variables rather, and we find our birth date. We just double click it, and it pops up right there. So for this one, we don't actually have <clears throat> a column of values in, that represent the first of the year. So we'll have to manually input this. To do this, you open up double quotes, and we want 01 Jan, and it's only the first three. It's the first three letters of the uh, of the month, and then the uh, four digit year. So you'll have uh, day day, three digit character or three uh, uh, three characters representing the uh, the month, and then the four numeric values representing the year. And so you close this, and no spaces, and you type in a D. This ensures that the output, or that the calculation involves a date. Uh, value and then so then we, we can go to our this will be our basis how we want to how we want this represented so we do in single quotes and we type in actual and this will ensure that we have the actual value <clears throat> so everything looks right so we click next uh, we'll go ahead and title this age at new year okay click next Finish <clears throat> and close it, and we run it. So by default, uh, SAS automatically puts our computed columns at the very end of the, the output set. So go all the way down, and we can see our age at New Year and has all of our values. So these are the actual uh, the actual age of the the person, and of course you noticed uh, the several decimal places, but in reality nobody ever. Says they're, uh, you know, says that they're 36.76 uh, years old. So to do this, we'll actually, we'll actually uh, convert this to an integer to make it sound more, you know, more more normal, if you will. So we go to our modify task. <clears throat> go back to our computed columns, and there's two things we can do. We can either edit this and make a nested. Uh, function, if you will, which is essentially just a function within a function, uh, or we can just uh, create a new one, a new computed column, and then select the the column that we just created, the age at new year. Uh, so for this, we'll just create a new one. We go back to our advanced uh, expression, our functions pop up. So for this, we're going to use the integer function, which is int. So here's our, our int function. So we double click it, we could drag, go all the way down, and we could just select our computed column. 
and which is age at new year. So we click next. Um, I guess we can just title this uh, new age new year. Okay, we start to go ahead and run it. Scroll all the way down, <clears throat> and here you go. Now we now we have a, a column of integer uh, uh, ages. So you see, we just completely chopped off all the uh, decimal places. This won't round; it will just literally just chop chop off everything after the uh, the decimal place. <clears throat> now, also, we can also uh, calculate a person's age given their birth date, and to, and uh, using the today. Um, a date setup that SAS already has uh, stored in here to see how person how, to how, how old an actual a person is like at any given day today tomorrow whatever so we can click new advanced expression next <clears throat> so we do the exact same thing except now we're not using the beginning of the year now we're actually seeing how old they are today so we'll use the uh, year diff function again And we do the same thing again. We start off with our with our uh, birth uh, birth date, and so here we don't have to type in an actual date. SAS has the today uh, date stored, so we just call on it. We just type in today, followed by set of parentheses. Then we'll use the actual basis again. And we'll call this age to date. So let's go all the way down. And here we go. Now we see how old they are today, as of today, given their their birth date and using the today uh, date um, that SAS has stored in the system. <clears throat> So again, one more time, we'll go ahead and run through the, uh, the integer function again just to get rid of uh, all these decimal places. So we go to Modify Task, go back to our computing columns. Uh, for this one, I'll, we'll, just use, we'll just change the existing uh, computed column age today. So we can just double click it, pause back up. So we just call on the, uh, we can just type in the integer function, which is just INT. So we type in INT, open it with parentheses, and then come all the way down. Just close this. So now we have these nested functions, a function within a function. Go to next, and just click finish. Close. So now, now we're going to replace this last column age today with the new, uh, the new uh, in, uh, version of it, which is just going to be integer dates or uh, uh, age rather. We click on run. Come all the way down. And there you go. Now we just simply replace it, whereas the first time we created uh, this computed column with actual values, and then we created another one with just the integer values of it. This one we went ahead and just kind of did it all in one one swoop to save you save you plenty of time. And there's just simple ways that you can uh, create <coughs> to manipulate uh, numeric values that include the date to you know find people's birth dates or pretty much anything you can do as long as you have uh, columns represented by date values. <clears throat>